Today I'm going to teach you how to make a pair of bloomers. To create the first line, start by taking half your hips measurements and add 20 centimeters. Divide this line into create a vertical line. The top part of the line is 22 centimeters and the bottom part is how long you want your bloomers to be. Create a rectangle all around. The second line will be 5 cm down the first line you made. Take half your waist measurement and add 20 cm. Divide that number by 2. Start by measuring from the middle of the rectangle to the left. That is that same measurement. So if your measurement is 80 cm, half of it will be 40. So start measure 40 cm to the middle of the rectangle to the left. The second line on the top will be the exact same measurement as the left one, but measure it from the left to the right. Add 1 cm above the rectangle. On the measurement down will be the exact same measurement as the top, but add 5 cm. Create a diagonal line, taking that measurement in account. Connect these two lines. Create the first curve on the left. Now create a second curve on the right side, the exact same way you created the one on the left. In the bottom, if you want to make them, if you want to make the bloomers taper a little bit, you can on the bottom. Maybe re remove five centimeters from each side, or if you want to make them very fluffy on the bottom, you just let them like this. Now remove the extra lines. It should look something like this. The draw is not to scale, so you, yours may look a little bit different. That's okay. Here you see that my pattern is cut in half. That's because I wanted the bloomers to be extra fluffy, so I made them even more gather. But you don't need to, it just was my preference. Now add the seam allowance. It will be one centimeter all around in the, with the exception of the waist. The waist will be seven centimeters because of the waistband. Sew the sides, making sure you are sewing your left and the right leg. Take one of the legs and put it inside out. Put the right side leg inside the wrong side one. Make sure that the front is matching the front and the back is matching the back. Sew it. To make the waistband, fold the fabric 1 cm, then add the amount you need for the elastic with an extra half cm, sew it. Make sure to leave an opening to add the elastic. With a safety pin, insert the elastic on the opening. Make sure that the elastic is not twisted. Then sew one end of the elastic with the other. Close the opening. To make the elasticated leg, take a smaller elastic and divide the elastic in four with a pencil. Divide the leg as well in four. Stretch the elastic, making sure that each mark match, sew so with a zigzag stitch. Thank you. 
If you want, you can add some lace to decorate. Here is the final result.